Welcome back to another video. Sorry it has been a little while since I last posted. I have just been juggling a few other things. Um, but I thought I could do a video today on milk texturizing again and trying out Lance Hendrick's technique for like a week and see if I improve. Lance Hendrick is a world champion Brewster and I watched one of his videos recently where he showed his technique to getting silky texture every time and so I thought I could give it a go and just do it for a week and see how I progress. So as you can see here, I am holding the spout of the jug against the steam wand and then moving it a halfway towards the machine and then a quarter to my right. So I'll just show you again. Against the spout, halfway towards the machine and then a quarter to the right. Now when you have milk in the jug, you want to make sure that the tip of the steam wand is just underneath the surface of the milk, um, like barely even a centimetre under. And then once the steam starts to come out you'll just lower it until you hear the ripping sound and then after three to five seconds you'll want to start moving back up the wand again so here i am just waiting for the steam to start fully and i'm moving it down very slowly this is where the microphone is created so you have to be really careful to get the right balance between just enough and too much Okay, so now I've moved the jug back up the steam wand and now I'm just feeling with my hand for the temperature. When it gets too hot to touch, that's when I turn it off. I've definitely progressed. I definitely have more um, consistently silky smooth and like paint-like um, texture in my milk. So I definitely think that it works. Um, hopefully you will have been able to understand how the technique works from the video. I will also link Lance's video that I watched in the description box as well in case you want to go and watch that one. Um, so yeah, 
I've definitely improved. My milk texture is definitely more consistently um, correct or close to being as you know good as I can get it. I did buy this little tiny cup because I thought the circumference was better for sort of like trying to do a pattern, but the milk to coffee ratio is much better for me. That's kind of how I like to drink my coffee. I like it to be in, you know, quite a small, a small cup. So it's actually a mini bowl, that's why there's no handle, but it was the only thing that I could find had the circumference that was small. So yeah, that's much better than those really big bowls that I was using. The milk texture's good. It's just a case of me not being able to do latte art now. <laughs> Um, I'd say I'm, I'm pretty consistent with getting the um, shot pulling through and all of that stuff. So I have made some progress. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, as always, comment down below any tips that you have for me, any thoughts, any advice, that kind of thing. I would really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe because hopefully I will, I'll try and keep posting once a week, but it might become once every two weeks, that kind of thing. Um, but if you are interested in keeping up to date with my journey as a barista, then don't forget to subscribe. And I'd also really appreciate if you would like this video as well. And yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Have a great week.